<laughs> Boy, Mystic Knights ain't got <laughs> on us. All the Planeteers. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And today we got a very special reaction, a movie reaction. And what movie are we gonna be reacting to specifically? Bionicle Mask of Light. Yes, guys, it was high time that I jump into something that I don't think a lot of people have reacted to. You know, I've I already stressed that I wasn't the biggest Lego fan back when we did our reaction to the Ninjago openings. Yeah, it's just something about Lego that just really didn't connect with me, um, particularly the aesthetics of it, you know. Uh, I think that the uh, figures are a lot limited compared to other more detailed and uh, articulate figures, you know. But I do enjoy the fact that Lego acknowledges that and actually kind of plays to those kind of like stereotypes of their actual assets, you know. We see so many different characters Characters within stuff like Lego Marvel where we see Tony Stark swap his original head out with a Iron Man head as opposed to just taking off the helmet and stuff like that so yeah I do love the fact that we have so many different things within Lego media that makes fun of the different tropes and limitations of those figures but it's one Lego property that always stood out to me and that was Bionicle man like uh, I always felt like this thing right here was going to take Lego to the next level because of how detailed it was compared to the more basic Lego um, toys and things of that nature. And I was like, man, this right here looks cool. Not only is it like different from everything that's Lego, it has a very dark aesthetic, a very dark atmosphere to it. And I was like, yeah, I really would like to watch that but unfortunately I didn't you know it's always something that I saw in passing I still remember this commercial you know I'm not sure it's associated with this movie I'm not even sure they made a uh, movie based off of that line of uh, Bionicle toys but I do remember this commercial that they had where they had the narrator was like it's not all about who you are it's not all about what you have on it's about what you do with it that makes you the hero Bionicle Something along those lines. You guys know what I'm talking about. It had the All-American Reject Move Along song playing in the background. And they had the characters doing all these cool flips and dips and slashes and gashes and stuff of that nature. That right there really hyped me up. But like I said, never got into it. But hey, I'm going back into my childhood memory banks. And I'm going to go ahead and scrap the seatbelt on. And I'm going to get ready for this ride. Hopefully you guys will want to ride with me and enjoy it. Because this is going to be a doozy. I'm going to be reacting to all three of these movies. But like I always say guys, if you really want to see the follow-ups to the first reactions, you got to make sure you smash that like or dislike button. Let's try to get the like goal to 1k likes and I'll go ahead and upload the second and the third reactions uh, respectively. Uh, but if you don't feel like waiting on that because it does take a bit of time, then by all means, join the Patreon where you can watch this thing for $10 if you join the tier three. Uh, and you can also submit your requests once you uh, join the tier three of movies and shows that you wanna watch. So do all that, man. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this, man, because I have been very much interested in seeing this, man. I know the visuals have aged since this is a product that was released 20 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. But it's all about the story and the way the performances of uh, are of the voice actors and stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. It's going to be 2003 Bionicle Mask of Light reaction. So without further ado, let's get it. Got the evil nefarious music playing. What is this, some kind of dungeon or Gathered friends? Listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. The Bionicle. The great spirit descended from the heavens, carrying we the ones called the Matoran, Matoran to this paradise. We were separate and without purpose. So Great Spirit illuminated us with the three virtues. Three virtues. Unity, duty, and destiny. Hey, we was destined we to be great. these gifts. And in gratitude, we named our island home Mata Nui. But our happiness was not to last. Of course. For Mata Nui's brother, 
The Maikuta was jealous of these honors and betrayed him, casting a spell over Matanui, who fell into a deep slumber. Is this like a beef between stones? The, the evil Maikuta stone? was free to unleash his shadows. And unleash them. He did. Wow. We already off to a, a great start. Like the whole origins of this sounds very interesting. And it's gonna take the mask of light to light our darkest hour. Takua! <laughs> ah, Takua. Hmm. He left his shovel, man. He's a little pooper scooper. Takua! Where you at, Takua? Is that him? Look, Puku. That's why they call me the Chronicler. Oh, Bro, you better be careful. You've seen Lord of the Rings 3. This Takua! What are you doing down here alone? We're supposed to be at the Coley match? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, Jala. Hang on a sec. Bruh. You're hopping across lava to look at a stupid morning sign? Right? Do you know what Tarago Okada would say? <sighs> Irresponsible? Now come on. Be right there. My little ass ah. legs. Very impressive. Now let's go. Please. Shit. <sighs> what a fucking rock anyway. <clears throat> Whoa. Just like that, the sacred rock of destiny was melted. Oh shit. Ooh. Jola, look! A great Kanohi mask. Kanohi. Should work like Crash Bandicoot. Be careful, don't melt the plastic. Wow. Takua! Hold your Rahi! I'm coming! Rahi. Here, take the mask. Shit. Better hurry up and get up out of there. It's almost like y'all did the wrong thing while trying to grab the mask. It's like it's disrupted the balance. You better fucking ride that wave, bro. Oh, Toto. Chronicler. Let's go. Tubular. Let's take a closer look at those boys. Shit! <laughs> Reminds me of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers opening. Ooh! They got a surfboard to turn into blades? So, secure. This view close enough? Incoming! Uh oh. Okay, so you got everything, man. You got shields, you got blades. He's well equipped. <laughs> Bro, what what's with the hostility? Toto. Takua? He didn't. Hmm? <laughs> You're alive! Coley head! You could have been lava bones! Hey! Could have been, but I'm not. Great Kanohi mask. It was in the lava. Takua, this could be important. Take it to Turaga Vakawa. Our mighty Toa. We now enjoy peace and prosperity. Let's go, man. What they got? A coliseum? Like, this is gonna be a gladiatorial thing going on? Or is this like a coronation? Or is this a bad comedy? Let us welcome our protectors, the spirit of fire. Toa Tahu. Hey. Played by Scott McNeil. From the village of Water, Toa Gali. Ooh. I'm thirsty for you, baby. Village of Stone, Toa Bohatu. Rock out. Pleasure to see you again, Gali. Yeah. Thank you, Tahu. Brother, I am thrilled to be here. Well, yes, bro we have our first match without the patron of Coley. <laughs> and so I am here. <laughs> Always a pleasure, Gully. Oh, yeah. yeah. They don't like each other? 
I guess water and fire just don't get along at all. See what happened in elementals. You two, still so ill at ease? My brother is afraid of having his fire extinguished. Oh. <laughs> Sister, against me you'd be nothing but steam. Mm. Hot air. Nice. They say. A blaze your ways. We dedicate this holy field to the great spirit Matanui. Matanui? And to the three virtues. Unity, duty, destiny, unity, duty, destiny. Unity. Let the tournament begin. Copper mask winners and undisputed Kobe champions, Pookie and Papu. Pookie and Ray Ray. From the shiny seas of Dark Hall, the challengers, Holly and Marco. Okay. What is this like the junior edition? Well, <laughs> clumsy little. Go get him, boys! Of course, it's what the audience came for. See how this goes. What is this like blitz ball? <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay, little flipper Rudy. <laughs> it's almost like lacrosse in a way. Huh. Not bad. Nothing gets by the captain of the guard. Mm, with the pooper scooper drop kick. All up in your gold piece. Oh shit, what the fuck? The balls get bigger? <laughs> but did the jet shot? Oh, that's the tallies. Like that's how many points each team has. That's cool. Ooh, shit! Come on, Takola, whatever your name is. You know you finna fuck up though. You doing too much. You doing too much, bro. Yeah. Dumbass. Alright, bro, let's see if anything can get by you or not. Come on! <laughs> Man, get that shit out of my face. Congratulations to Gakono! And well played by all! What is that? A mask? <laughs> you, know, you take it. I don't want the shit. This is the great Kanohi mask of light. A mask to be worn only by a seventh tour. The prophecy is being fulfilled. The coming of a seventh tour who will bring light to the shadows and awaken Matanui. <coughs> What are we waiting for? We should prepare for this Toa's arrival. When will it be? And where? Ah, this Toa will not simply appear as you and the others did. The seventh Toa must be found. Wait. At the stadium, there was a sign. The mask threw all its light upon one Matoran, Jala. He must be the herald of the seventh Toa. But 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 I didn't tell the truth. Right, it's just, something. It's on you, bruh. I do say something. I say, hail Jawa! All hail Jawa! Come on, Takoa. Herald of the Seventh Tower! Hail Jawa! <laughs> hail Jawa! Bruh. It seems the Mask of Light has chosen you. Will you seek the Seventh Tower? I. I will. And Takua the Chronicler has volunteered to join me. Bruh. <laughs> While Jala makes history, you will record it. The seventh Toa. But why now? All the Makuta's threats have been defeated. Uh, who can fathom the wisdom of Matanui? I am simply happy to take good news to the North. You travel with Gali? No. 
she has gone to ponder the great thoughts. Mm. So far, so good, guys. Really enjoying this. It's a lot to take in with the lore, but I'm digging it. Just Legend of the Hidden Temple or Tomb Raider? Somebody's meditating. This must be uh, one of the more badass and more focused characters. Yeah, this is her. Water Girl, right? Aquafina. Hmm, well, she's in the astrology, I see. Kinshiro. The third shudders, my brother. The seventh tour has begun its approach. The prophecies of the Matoran oppose my will. <laughs> Must I release those who should never see the light of day? <laughs> oh shit, he did a fatality on somebody? It's that Sub Zero. It's on and popping now, man. Now we got the chosen one. The so-called chosen one. You owe me a rematch on the Kobe field. Well then, you'd better hurry back because I'll be practicing. Why she look like Tom from Toonami? Let's go. Right on Mr. Crabalina over here. You're bringing Puku? Puku. I couldn't leave her behind if I wanted to. Okay, Crabalina. Snap, snap. Let's get at it. Do not take your journey lightly. It will tolerate none of your foolery. <clears throat> um, how will we know where to start? Trust in the mask. Let it be your guide. Here we go, man. How we do this? Oh. Hard to argue with that. Remember your duty and walk in the light. Walking in the light now. Say less. Yeah. Maneuver. A sense of disturbance in the force. There you go. Do I have an ooze? I'm alive. I slither. Uh oh. Yeah, they coming, bro. Wow. Man, we ugly. Let's not look at our reflexes ever again. Oh, okay, she's using her elements at least. Using her environment to her advantage. But he smells something. What? So they can just hover off of their ass? They're headed for Takoro. Uh oh. Better go tell somebody. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a pause for the cause there. So as I said, man, so far, so good. Like everything from the premise to the characters is really uh, got me like it, it. Like I'm just very much invested in this. Like, um, like I said, it was obvious that certain things weren't going to age well. But I will say for a project that did come out in 2003, you can tell that it was very, very much a ambitious one, you know, like the way the characters move and stuff and the water, the CG animation on the water, it looks good. Kind of puts me in the mind of Super Mario Sunshine, which I thought was one of the more um, precursors to water, the evolution of how water looks in um, games around that uh, time frame, you know, it's like obviously things look way better now than they ever have before, but during 2003 that's when video game graphics and movie visuals were really getting their footing when it came to utilizing cgi 
uh, the, the whole origin story, you know, it's um, interesting. It kind of puts me in the mind of if you guys are familiar with Transformers, obviously I have Transformers things in my background. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Transformers, they had these two characters that started the whole story. You know, you had um, Primus, who is the god of all the Transformers, and you have Unicron, who was the twin brother and the god of chaos. You know, it kind of puts me in the mind of that. You know, these two powerful entities that started it all and have gone on on this all out war against one another. And it's up to the being of a uh, good you know to kind of keep that evil at bay and you have the toas that are essentially uh the, the creator the creations of you know that god that they really uh, respect you know i can't remember all the names i think his name starts with an m or something like that uh but it's cool to see them trying to keep that order you know uh and the toa they they all have unique things going for them you know like all the different elements um they look great and then you have uh jala and Takoa, who seem like they're gonna be the audience surrogates you know they're they're gonna be thrusted into all these different crazy adventures and jala you know he's gonna be putting up a front or something like that and acting like he is the chosen one of light when in actuality it's Takoa. you know he's this you know somewhat of a little adventurous hothead you know he does things that are uh fucking over exaggerated and shit like that like that move that he tried to do that he know he shouldn't have did he had no business doing that but yeah he's gonna become the true hero somewhere near the tail end or the climax of this movie so yeah we're off to a great and impressive start and i can't wait to see how this thing's gonna unfold but anyways enough of my jabber let's go ahead and jump back into this movie and see here we go but these dudes just cruising too ain't they all right, don't get dried out now. The Toa of Water approaches! The Toa of Water! He's here! Sound the alarm! <laughs> Why is everybody else so little? It's like he has the man voice. Do they have dwarfs up in this? There they go! Shadows that cower in the depths, exactly as foretold. Here we go! None have breached Takoro's gates before, and none shall this day. Damn. Mm. Shit. Over here. Here we go. Ooh, you gonna melt the ground? I mean, isn't this guy gonna fall though? Get the Matoran to safety now. Surrender? It's lost, Tahu. We need to regroup. So be it. <laughs> you found your one more step, and I'll get him, OG. I'll take it from here, wise one. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Okay, you keep on lighting circles under their feet, but what is this gonna do? This is gonna slash the motherfuckers, man. Uh oh. Oh, he's one of the walking hot Cheeto. There you go. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Damn. It's nothing. See my boy take a pre sun attack. You shall not gas. Damn. There we go. Surf's up, man. Hang ten. Yeah, let's get it. I know he does well in this type of environment. I love that his sword can do that, though. That is so awesome. Whatever they came for, they did not find. So what were they after? Makuta fears for his spell of shadow. The Mask of Light? Then we seek the seventh Toa. Jawa and Takua. We'll summon the Toa to find them. Don't trouble the other sister. Come on, Save man. Your safety myself. No, Tahu, no. We must remain united. If you insist. Man, why is this guy so adamant about going solo dolo on these missions, man? Is he just that bold? I hate the jungle. It's sticky. Oh. 
<laughs> but how can you say that? It's incredible. It irritates my plastic. Is there any place on Latinoon where you do feel at home? I don't complain about Takoro. We all have a destiny, you know. You know me. Always do. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! The fuck is this? Beast walls? Keep them busy. I'm running away and leaving me. Just watch. Bruh. You try to get your Tarzan on? Who does this? Really? Okay, back that thing up then, girl. Go ahead. Ride him, cowboy. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, slow down. Where did you learn to bear fight like that, little one? Yeah. Oh, right here. Just now. <laughs> well, I'd say you're a natural brave fire spitter. Better finish what I started. Now, now. What's that for? You and Ash Bear got no wrong quarrel? Just doing her duty. Okay. If this was your home realm, you do the same. Uh, all right. So we weren't welcomed here. That's what you're trying to say. This girl, oh, she's no, very protective. Word is Deepwood that you seek the seventh Toa. He seeks. I follow. He's the herald. I'm just his biographer. Mm. If Toa Liwa helped on your search, might he be a spirit lift? You. With us? All right. We'd be honored to have you walk with us. Spirit well, of error. Not never. We float, if you baby. ride with me, there'll be no foot walking, just air flying. Here we go, man. I love this. What does he have? Oh, shit. Dragonfly. I remember those type of toys. Everyone fly. A gucko bird? A gucko bird. That like something uh, from Dr. Robotnik. In a second. But I, uh, I never phoned myself. Then today's for quick learning. Here we go, boys. Let's do this. Stay sharp and follow well. What are you gonna use? The blades? Sorry, Kuku. No room. Really? Go on home. How you gonna leave this thing? We gotta walk all the way back. That's so sad. Why stop there when you can see everything from Arctic Mountain? <laughs> Somebody need to learn how to parallel park. The fuck, bro? Your village has fallen to Rakshi. Rakshi? The Makuta sons. My village? In trouble? Uh, I should have been there. I must return. Sorry, Fire Spitter. Past late to help now. The mask most needs you. Mm. Takuo will continue in my place. Bruh. Uh -uh. No way. You accepted this duty. I accepted your duty. Stop. What is this duty quarrel? <laughs> right. We all have a duty to Matanui. No time to gain fight. I must go be with the Toa. But then I'll go to your village, Jana. Heart promise. Okay, double mint gum. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Shit, double the pleasure, double the slash then, nigga. Couldn't find water if I fell out of a canoe. Well, hmm. what do you think I can find? Damn. Uh, oh, shit. You definitely shall not pass. What can do this to them? That's an army of them. This guy. Okay, here's another warrior. Toa of Ice. How did you find us? It was you who were following me. We were? <laughs> oh, we didn't mean to. Heart as cold as ice, we I see. Lost. We're on a mission. I suppose you've heard of it? No. Don't care. Well, we've been sent to find the seventh Toa. You see, Takua here was in the tunnel where the lava break is, where he's not so close to Hey. Takoro's gone, Liwa. Buried by the very lava that sustained it. Toa. Damn. You worry about scratches. My village is gone. Your power was nothing. My power was nothing. We are same-hearted, brother. 
and that heart will quicken us to stop the evil spread. First, we must be united. Together, we are strong. Oh man, you've seen Warriors of Virtue. We gotta reunite. Plus, we need to go on tour. Get these toy cells back up. What does the scouter say? Oh shit, watch out! <laughs> it's just sitting there. Hey. Go. The captain of the guard never runs. Bro, just shut the fuck up and go. Here we go. What you got, bro? Okay. A square that splits into two swords? Damn. Alright. Perfect day for snow sledding or skiing. Sheesh. They are getting y'all's ass, bro. What the fuck? The mask. There you go, bust a move, bro. <laughs> Maybe they're not after you. You don't have anything to worry about. Yeah. Watch, watch, and cheer. Let's get it, baby. Let's kick some ice. <laughs> Petrified, baby. This is my element. Oh shit. So it's gonna rust. It moves. Even I get lucky sometimes. Yeah. Not luck. Hard. It's what you do that makes you a hero. That's right, it's what you do, just like the slogan says, man. No, stop Goku! Came anyway. Oh man, this guy. He just left us here. He must see to his village. Yeah, man, this guy's like, hey, you got all the cool points you need from me. I didn't look like a badass long enough. <laughs> hey, Jella! Look at me, I'm a Navi! Uh oh. Uh, guys? Where'd you go? I'm not afraid. Even my shadows cannot hide your fear. Mm. For the truth. The truth. That you will not find the seventh door, and deep down you know it. So I won't. Maybe Jala will. And if he doesn't, he will die because of you. I won't let everyone down. You fail them all if you refuse. For the mask, your villagers, and Jala will be spared. Really, is that right? Don't be a fool. No, I can't. The killer! <laughs> Bruh. The mask is pointing this way. Jella, um, about the mask. What about it? Are you ready to take it? Finally? I can't. I can't go with you. Really? We didn't came all this way. Why? I ain't gonna bitch out. I can't, I can't explain. Oh, that's just great. First you stick me with your duty, and then you ditch me? My duty is to myself. Really? I quit! Just <laughs> take the mask and go! Oh my goodness. Fine, but I won't give up. I'll find the seventh toe whether you're the true herald or not. So my hand is cast. Now I must pierce that which the toe Hold dear. And what is that? Anger amongst them will threaten their precious unity and fear. You keep them from their destiny. They will not disturb you. Alright. So this guy, he already manipulating everything. Matoran of Onokoro, the Mask of Light, has been found! Jala, the captain of the guard of Takoro, 
and Takua the Chronicler even now seek the seventh door. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't this the guy? Chronicler, you learn. Where is the herald? Uh, we got separated after we met the Rakshi. Rakshi? What is Rakshi? <laughs> Is that it? Oh shit! Those, except different ones. Just wow. those are plenty for now. Welcome to Olu Koro. Ooh, going terra firma, baby. Let's get it. He's like Jacks of the group, I see. <laughs> I just love how they're the smaller ones that are the weak, weak inferior ones, and you can tell which ones are the more superior. Hey, let's go. Ew. Oh no. Is that sucking his soul? Wow, you motherfuckers. Oh. They suck the color out of my boy. Bitch! Oh wow. Oh, they can't absorb anything from you. You're the chosen one. Mm. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta do something. What do they do to you, then? You think you really gonna beat these with guys with a spoon, bro? Brother! Fire has no brothers. Fire consumes Somebody get your man. Quick speed to Jala. Warn him. Goku! Where are you going? <laughs> right, what the fuck? <laughs> And these are the more- oh, shit. <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> what does he have? The power of lightning in the palm of my hand! Well done! But how did you keep the ceiling from collapsing? Right, what the hell? I, I didn't think that far! <laughs> Mm. Well, just stay frozen, Sorry, baby. Brother. Brothers, let's take him to safety. Alright, guys, so let's take another pause for the cause. Um, so things are in utter turmoil. It's like these evil guys have invaded the um the layout of the good guys. Still having a hard time remembering everybody's name because in a way, it's like everything seems like it's more on a, a tribal side where everything is kind of kept in an ancient kind of um, way, if you know what I mean. It's like everybody has this cool name that means something great, if you know what I mean. And sometimes when names are like that, I have a hard time kind of, you know, recollecting what they could be. You know, I have, just keeping them in my memory banks and saying them. So in terms of the Toma, Toma I can only just go uh, based on the element like Toma of fire, Toma of water, Toma of air and uh, Toma of rock. We saw a Toma of uh, lightning or storms, if I'm not mistaken, and one of I'm not sure, like avalanches. Yeah, they they all have unique things going for them. And I also like how each respect of Toma, re like their personalities reflect their abilities, you know, the elements that they boast. Like with the Toma of fire, he, for all intents and purposes, he does have a fiery nature about him. And sometimes fire doesn't mesh well with other elements like water, you know. I already knew that they were gonna kind of clash there. And you also have the Toma of ice, which I think is like one of the cooler ones, you know, since he is ice, you know, uh, isolated, if I could say that. Uh, I know that's like kind of like a, a pun, but he lives in isolation and he has a heart that's kind of cold as ice, you know, but he will aid the main characters, which 
um, Jala and uh, Takoa, you know, they they have kind of separated, you know. Jala, he's been discouraged by this evil baddie, you know, that really wants that mask. And like I say, it's very reminiscent of what we saw with Unicron and Primus. And if you guys remember in the Transformers 86 movie, they had this MacGuffin or the main plot device, which was the uh, Matrix of Leadership which was the uh, ultimate thing that could defeat Unicron because, you know, him being the, the god of chaos and darkness, that darkness could be lightened by the Matrix, which would light the darkest hour. So a lot of cool similarities, but it's still original in its own way, if I can say that, man. Like, I love the choreography. Like, as stiff as the characters move, you know, I think that, once again, a product of his time, I think that it's really good. It, it kind of puts me in the mind of stuff that I used to watch, like, Reboot, if you are familiar with that, you know. I'm kind of showing my age here. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. I'm, I was a 90s kid growing up, so I was able to see the evolution of CGI from, like, Beast Wars and all these other things. Speaking of which, this cast boasts um, a few of the Beast Wars voice actors. You have Scott McNeil voicing the main Toa uh, of Fire. And I think I even heard a guy that I used to hear a lot in Escaflone. You know, like Escaflone, they used to have this character named Delandau, if I'm not mistaken. And um, he always had this youthful voice, you know, like I forgot his name. I'm trying to look it up now. What is uh, his name? Okay, so you have Alan Shazar and all these other... I don't know, but you know, it's it's had its fair share of different voice actors, but I remember that voice actor in particular, man. But anyways, I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. I just want to go ahead and jump back into this because it's coming to a close and I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out, man. This has been an epic adventure and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the journey as much as I am, especially those that are kind of, uh, you know, coming back to this. They're returning and re-watching this again. So um, let's go ahead and jump back into this. Let us summon all of the healing powers we possess. Use your powers Ready together. Kopaka. That's enough. Damn. Brother. Water around me. It's like you had to hit him with that Sierra Mist. Them healing waters, but we're going to restore him back to his natural color. You did all you could. <sighs> Matanui, where does my destiny lie? Please tell me. <laughs> right on this ledge. <laughs> well, I guess I asked. Oh, come on now. Come on! Grab onto this giant ice cream scooper. Well, well, well. Whatever happened to I quit? I could have, but I didn't. Bad news. More rock shit. They've taken Onokoro. The Mask of Light was never at Onokoro. They don't want the mask. They're looking for the Herald. You sure they were after the Herald? Oh, yeah. Real sure. Then we better find the seventh toe. All right. He's back. Brother, are you well? No. No, I'm not well. Still the same douchebag. But I... I am alive. And in your debt. I love the bromance and the cismance they have, man. I like them bro fists. No way. Are you sure this thing is working right? Ooh! Wow, so it has beams. The seventh door must be here. Yeah. Rock she! Give me the mask. Jow, no! We both know the mask chose me. I'm the true hero. Yeah. Are you sure? Even now? Bro, I just shot a beam from it. Give it to me. Right? Why don't you go and shoot another one of those Yuna beams at him? Oh, now what? Okay, what y'all gonna do with the little toothpicks y'all got? Got the power of the sun in the palm of my hands. Hey. Toa! Great! You can get us out of here! We are done, Robin. Whoa! 
What's that? Why does shit keep on shaking and falling? And oh, nice. Brothers, we thought we lost you. And you might have. If it weren't for our icy friend. Ooh, okay. Now, as one! We will not be broken. That's right. We built different. Windfly! Sam Twister! <laughs> Oh, we're gonna glass him up then. Hell yeah. What about you, girl? Uh oh. Water and ice. Nice. <laughs> oh. But Mystic Knights ain't got shit on us or the Planeteers. I'm not fearing shit. Come on, bro. Oh no. What is it doing to him? Damn. I'm supposed to make the sacrifice. No. Duty was mine. You know who you are. You're always different. <laughs> no, not Jala. You know who you are. Show him who you are. Here we go. <laughs> the seven Toa. Oh, he has a new physique. No training required. I am Takanuva, Toa of Light. Let's go. <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist. My gold breastplates. But soon it will also end. You have finally found your own story, and still you seek answers. Marta Nui is wiser than all. The path you walked was not to be here, but in here. Mm. My duty is clear. Jala's sacrifice will not be in vain. How will this we find the Makuta? What is the Makutas shall return to him. Yeah. So you're shipping this back, huh? Jala was your herald. Let him continue to lead you to victory. Well said, Hobby. Not much room in this transport. Where will we all sit, brother? You won't. You shall not join me. Really? If united, our power defeated the Rakshi. Certainly, it will take nothing less to defeat the Makuna. I have but one destiny. Yours lie with the Matoran and the Turaga. Gather them and wait for my return. Got that push to start button, okay. I'd like to say motorcycles that we ride in the Jack universe. Mm. Superhero landing, let's go. Make your own entrance too. Holly! What the fuck? someone was your chronicler. Who's getting put in the Scorpion Deathlock first? Any willing participants? Take this shit. Back to your daddy. Daddy! You can no longer hide in shadow. Y'all like this whole room, huh? Shadow. The shadow that guards the gate. Now run along and accept your doom. I am done running. 
Mata Nui will be awakened this day. There you Hurry, go. summon the Matora. It's done. Yet, who of light, now so bold. You failed to save your friend. You didn't even warn him. Perhaps for your next great Damn, he big. A simple game of calling him. Win, and you may try to open the gate. When you lose, I will not lose. Let's go, man. You good for it this time. You got the new hardware. You can do those moves that you couldn't pull off when you had them short legs. I can't believe this guy is challenging him to a game. He wants us to follow. We are to awaken Matanui today. The light among the shadows. The prophecy is fulfilled. We must go. Still running to her. <laughs> Silence! This island is a great and wondrous place. Never have any been as blessed as we are to live in such a paradise. Mm, true. She has a point. Home. Jala loved it too. But above all, Jala respected his duty. Let us repay him by doing our duty. Let us remember him by fulfilling our destiny. Let us go forward together. Let us awaken the great spirit. <laughs> You're gonna wake him, alright. We're gonna beat your ass when you wake up, too. Okay, we got spectators. This is cool. Maybe they will not see me win today. But the Matoran will go on. And someday, they will triumph. You actually believe I will let them return? Really? So we stuck up in here. Will not leave. <sighs> Shit. There we go. This is what you were trying to do earlier, right? You're gonna do something, do it with style, baby. Here we go. I'll break your head with this shit. <laughs> Goal. Game set and match. There you go, slap it off his bitch ass face. Come on. Why well, do like Bumblebee and Megatron fighting? See how ugly you look. Oh wow, we always falling into shit. This light. Uh oh. Damn, you gotta move faster than that. Why did it move so slow up in this? <laughs> how do we get here? One? Oh hell no. Insert Terminator music. Okay. So what do we call him? Twilight? Light it up for us, man. There you go, it's fully charged now. Be that pulse. Ooh, okay, so he's back. Thank God. What about him, though? Don't get smushed! Oh shit! Wow. Does this mean Takala is dead? What kind of shit is this, bro? Today, 
Let us awaken the great spirit. Unity. Duty. Destiny. Ah, here we go. Is it manifesting his body back now? Good shit. You're alive! Coldy head, you could have been Makuta bones. Hey. Could have been. Should have been. But I'm not. Exactly. A genuine article here, man. United, we embraced our duty. Light found itself and illuminated our destiny. The city of the great spirit, my island home, refound. New legends await, but old lessons must be remembered. This is the way of the Bionicle. This is the way. Goddamn Bionicle up in this bitch. I got that Batman music playing. All right, so that right there was Bionicle Mask of Light. That was very good, man. Like, this was a very fun watch, especially for something this old, you know, something that's like 20 years old now. Um, I didn't expect it to get that dark, you know, just seeing Jala get killed like that, but something told me that wasn't going to be the end of it. Like, once Takawa became the uh, the Toa of Light, I knew that he was somehow going to restore, like, uh, restore uh, Jala back to his normal self, which we saw, you know. It kind of makes me wonder, like, um, we see now, like I said, that you have the more insignificant characters that are uh, on the smaller side. At first, I thought that just was exclusive to kids and that all the adults would be normal size. And then you have the um, elder Toa or whatever they're called that are on the medium side of things. You know what I'm saying? The, the snackables. That's what I call them. All of them look like little nuggets and snackable things. But, but as I, I, I see now that like they, they get this mask, you know, each one of them, they, they get the mask kind of like how uh, Takawa did and they grow taller and become these very capable warriors is that how it goes who knows but yeah the, the the journey was cool the only downside i will say is that i wish i saw the actual uh matoa or, or whatever this god was that they worshiped you know they said they were going to bring him to life but that's just one of those things you know it's just the legend continues to be a legend you know you hear about it but you don't necessarily see it um i do like how we got the chance to see light and darkness form together. You know, it's almost like it created a yin and a yang. You know what I'm saying? It was a balance going there. And that right there what is what helped them to um, ultimately get to where they needed to be. You know, so everybody lives in peace now until another dark thing comes, which I'm guessing we're going to see up in the next installment. Uh, maybe. Um, like I say, there are two other installments and does this have a series i want to say this has a series as well but unfortunately i don't think it does like i feel like i always thought that bionicle was going to be the future of the lego franchise you know i was like maybe that's what we're going to see we're going to see these more proportionate characters go in the more serious type of stories but that was not to be you know it seems um as you all know one of the more popular franchises within the Lego um, brand is that of Ninjago, the masters of Spinjutsu or Spinjitsu. I always get, you know, yeah, Spinjitsu. Um, we always see that, you know, that seems like that's going to be the face of the franchise moving forward and they keep on dominating. It's it's a telltale sign that it's good based on the, the fact that it's still going today. So, yeah. 
but these movies are great and i wouldn't mind seeing a remake um, of this movie in particular like it looks very cool you know what i'm saying but it is what it is man we we should be happy that we even got it in the first place i'm pretty sure the toys you know they they're very sought after especially like if they haven't really just been mass producing more of them nowadays compared to when they did when they first were revealed uh, once again, I got to give a shout out to the cast. Um, I was able to remember the name of that character that I said uh, plays um, a Jaller, you know, um, this guy by the name of Andrew Michael Scott or Andrew Francis. Um, yeah, he is one of those voice actors that I really enjoyed and I always recognize him in something. Um, if I'm not mistaken, most of the cast were from uh, somewhere from Canada. You know, we have a lot of Canadian talents out there that were doing their things, especially in the 90s and early 2000s. You know, now it's kind of scattered abroad. We have uh, people over in America. You know, they've been making a name for themselves in the West, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, a, a, a lot of um, good voice actors were in this, you know what I'm saying? You have, like, um, Scott McNeil, you know, who's uh, another favorite of mine. Like, he, he played a lot of characters and stuff like the Ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z. And you also have him in Beast Wars where he played Rat Trap. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he also did the voice of Silver Bolt and other characters within that particular show. And then you have him in Escaflone. He's another Escaflone alumni. Just like Andrew Francis, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he did the voice of uh, Falco or Falcon, or however you say his name. So, yeah, shout outs to him, man. Uh, I think everybody did a phenomenal job with their respective characters. Uh, hopefully we see these characters again. Hopefully it's just not going to be a one and done for the other installments. You know, I think once we get attached to these guys, you know, we obviously want to see more of them. And that's what I have my fingers crossed for. But anyways, like I said, guys, if you really want to see me react to the other ones, especially have those things put up on YouTube in a timely manner, be sure to like and share this video. Let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes, and I will get that up to you. But if you don't feel like waiting, you can always hit up the Patreon and check out the, uh, the full-length version uncut and remastered. No, not necessarily remastered, but definitely uncut. No edits. Just the full-length, one-hour and 13-minute reaction. But anyways, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always, I have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. But if there's anything that I may have missed or got misconstrued, or you just want to tell me what you liked or disliked about this movie or how nostalgic it is to you, do that in the comment section below without spoiling me on things to come for the next installments. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys for the next reaction to Bionicle. Peace.